Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Gonna highlight the brand new Humble Monthly as well as go over March's Humble Monthly in this video. The unlocks for March's Humble Monthly are out, so if you bought it to get Dark Souls 3 as well as Overgrowth, the rest of the games have been unveiled as well as April's Bundle, which is awesome. We'll first talk about April's Bundle, and as always, there will be a link in the description box down below where you can buy it for yourself. I get a little bit of a kickback, so it always supports the channel, but Humble Monthly is a fantastic service, and I would highly recommend that if you're trying to grow your steam library you take advantage of it so april's bundle is quite good i don't know if everybody's gonna be into it because the early unlocks are three lower key titles and when i mean lower key they're still pretty big games however they're not at the level of say a civilization 6 or a dark souls 3 in my honest opinion but let's go over them anyway so if you pay 12 dollars right away you will get access to three games which is great and the actual value just out of these three games is insane First off, you get God Eater 2 Rage Burst, which is an awesome game. Think something like Monster Hunter, but with a more anime stylization. Typically on sale, that game goes for $15 to $16, so right away, if you are interested in that game, that covers the cost of Humble Monthly, but that is not all. You also get Deus Ex Mankind Divided, which is a pretty good game right now. This game is actually on sale on Steam for 6 bucks, so if you value it at that, that's pretty good. And it is the sequel to Deus Ex Human Revolution. Unfortunately, I did not think Mankind Divided was as good as Human Revolution. Revolution, I thought it faltered a little bit from the storytelling standpoint. Gameplay-wise, it is more versatile than Human Revolution. However, I think overall, Human Revolution was a better game. Mankind Divided also does have some issues from a technical standpoint. A lot of that has been remedied up until this point, but at launch, the game was a nightmare. It's better now, and I was able to play through the game in its entirety on PC not too long ago. A pretty good game, not great, but a nice addition as an early unlock. And finally, you also do get Mafia 3, which was a game that's so many gamers were excited for back in 2016, but this was a game that was a little bit of a disappointment. Mafia 2 was just such a good game and a follow-up to it, and it was being touted as an open-world New Orleans, and we got that. However, again, I don't think Mafia 3 was quite as good as Mafia 2. I thought Mafia 2's storytelling and its atmosphere, it's a little above Mafia 3, but you're still gonna have some fun with Mafia 3. Just be aware it does have some repetitive content. However, the voice acting and storytelling is still relatively strong in this one, and again, and this is a game that typically goes for 10 to $15, so as a part of your Humble Monthly subscription, that is quite good. Of course, with your Humble Monthly subscription, you also do get 10% off of everything in the Humble Store and access to the Humble Trove, which is a bunch of DRM-free games such as Alan Wake, American Nightmare, Amnesia, The Dark Descent, Shadowrun Returns, and a bunch of other lower-key titles are available as a part of the Humble Trove, so always nice. And as far as the April bundle, the rest of the bundle will be unlocked on the first Friday of April, which is April 6th, so you have that to look forward to if you do subscribe. Okay, so moving on from that, as far as March's full bundle goes, some of the unlocks weren't all too great. However, considering you did get Dark Souls 3, you did get Overgrowth, the rest of the bundle was kind of just accessory. First, you had Loot Castle, which is touted as a super cute, super hard action RPG with roguelike elements and randomized dungeon, brimming with a host of hand-drawn humorous characters and environments that embrace retro action with modern twists. A lot of these games I haven't played, play a lot of games on PC. Some of these lower key titles I unfortunately they have not gotten around to, but it does look pretty cool, and you got that as a part of the bundle. You also got Splasher, which is a fun and challenging 2D platformer filled with humor and surprises armed with a paint cannon. You'll face the dangers of the Incorp Mega Factory in order to save your companions. The Splasher and put an end to the projects of the evil boss Le Ducteur. Game has a 79 on Metacritic and very positive response on Steam, so you have that too. And then we have a very interesting game in a very attorney. I hope I pronounced that right, but it is a bird lawyering game. And again, this is a game that I haven't played, but it's got very positive reviews with 94% positive feedback. This looks like a crazy game. The year is 1848. Paris is on the brink of yet another revolution and the prisons are overflowing with guilty and innocent alike. One man stands for justice amid society's chaos. No one bird. You play the role of a falcon, a bird of prey with a good heart and questionable lawyering experience. Join him and his wedding apprentice Sparrowson as the two take on clients, interview witnesses, collect evidence, and deliver justice to the guilty. The game retails for 15 bucks. It's got good reviews on Steam. Take it for what you will. A game I do know a little bit about is A Last Day of June. This is a pretty cool indie game that released last year. It's highly interactive and went very under the radar, so it's only got 600 reviews on Steam, and for a game that was released relatively recently, while the Steam reviews were in effect, that is very low, and that's usually a pretty good way to gauge how popular a game is. It's got pretty good reviews. It has a 75 on Metacritic, so another pretty cool title added to the subscription. And then you have Holy 
Potatoes, We're in Space, a space adventure game with management elements and turn-based combat. You manage your own spaceship and explore a procedurally generated universe with dozens of planets to explore for resources and enemies you can encounter for intergalactic space battles. And then finally, the Humble original title, which is a game made specifically for Humble Monthly, is Draconoid, a reimagining of the classic brick-breaking game, draw your paddle, bounce blindly fastballs exactly where you want them. There's bullet time to help you out, but the game gets faster as you get better. You get to upgrade your ship, all that fancy stuff. So a lot of lower key titles, a lot of games I'm sure a lot of you guys have never heard about. I'm kind of in that similar boat. Honestly, as far as unlocks go, probably one of the weaker months we've seen. But again, considering you did get Dark Souls 3 and Overgrowth right away, still a solid bundle overall. Hopefully the April bundles unlocks are in two weeks because they are giving out three marquee titles right away. So I don't know if Humble used the majority of their budget on that. Hopefully not. And hopefully we do see some cool titles. And for the March bundle, the total MSRP is still 179.92. It's just that as far as game quality goes, last month we got stuff like Life is Strange, Tacoma, Black the Fall, and those are games I'm a little bit more familiar with, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Pretty cool stuff. Next month's monthly is shaping up pretty well, so let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.